Okay, so let's kick off. All right, all right. Well, thank you for coming over today. Oh, thank you. Um, it's always good and, to be here. Um, I know you're very busy um, with your job and all of your training and your you know, all the things that you you manage on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we stay busy. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you doing in your training at the moment? Uh, good. Uh, you know, I. I uh, I have had an opportunity to continue to train through uh, through the, the coronavirus. I miss being in a dojo, yeah. but uh, uh, it, it has been a reminder yeah. that we train for ourselves yeah. and, and we don't necessarily need a dojo and to be standing in class. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, if you know even some basic things, get out there and do it. Yeah. And that's what I did. I found ways to... To, uh, to train and to focus on things that maybe in a dojo setting I wouldn't have the opportunity to do. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's always good to make le lemonade out of lemons. But uh. <laughs> I agree. I mean, you know, we've been through difficult times. Everybody's been through difficult times in the past year, year right. and a half or so. But actually, it's also in many ways been a very creative time as we've looked for yeah. alternative ways mm -hmm. to keep ourselves fit in mind and body and to keep yeah. helping each other as well. I think so. Um, I think that's right. And that's a good segue into into what you organized recently the Kangeko online um, yeah. so a wonderfully received uh, stimulus chance for people to get involved in, a, in an yeah. online challenge I love these kind of things myself I love the idea from the start but yeah. um, please tell us how it felt to see people take part the response there I, I was I was overwhelmed I, I got to say, you know, I started with the idea of a lot of people in our own organization who miss being able to associate with each other, uh, to train together. And I thought if there's a way to do something online to bring people together, uh, that would that would be I, I would be have been perfectly satisfied with that. Uh, uh, our, our good friend Josh Simmers convinced me that uh, that that, I, that we should take it just a step further and then. Yeah. He lent his uh, technical expertise yeah. uh, to it, which really made it um, pretty pretty successful, I mm. thought, and um, and and with your help as well. Mm. So the the uh, the support, the participation was tremendous. It was extremely positive. Mm. Uh, what I what I I learned through that was because it wasn't really an instructional thing; mm. it was a challenge. Yeah. And what I learned was that people want to train. They, they just need um, a little bit of an opportunity maybe mm. to be challenged yeah. and, 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 then, and then a good positive at, uh, atmosphere. Yeah. And when you put those things together, yeah. uh, challenge people to do their best, yeah. bring, make a, a, an atmosphere that, yeah. that uh, is constructive, yeah. and, and then people are hungry to, to to work with each other. And we're like-minded as karateka. Yeah. We have, regardless of the style or the mm. kind of kata we do, uh, we all have at, at some level this this common interest, mm. common goals um, that, that we can always find a way to support each other. Yeah, it was amazing to see how so many different people around the world, different ages, you know, from kids through to adults, yeah. families as units doing it, um, you know, just inspired to, to take on the challenge and and, right. and 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 just sweat a bit and work hard yes. and, then, and then smile all the way through That's they loved right. it That's and a lot right. of them they didn't they didn't seem to stop either they just went they carried on and just kept doing more so i'm still getting videos of people doing <laughs> hey i did day one only i put this spin on it and uh and they're they're out there thrashing themselves yeah. and uh it's it's yeah. awesome it's yeah. awesome to see yeah. yeah yeah i think um one of the things that i wanted to talk to you about today was the sort of the the spirit that we've inherited in our in our Okinawan martial arts her right. heritage, mm -hmm. um, you know, you uh, have a, I think, a pretty deep understanding of of Japanese culture and Okinawan culture, having spent years studying it and mm -hmm. being very proficient in a language. Mm -hmm. And like me, therefore, ending up very much often being a bridge and a translator between the two cultures. Right. What a great what a great opportunity, isn't for it? Both yeah, of us, right? and we often yeah. get to re-experience and relearn things again and again. That's true. Sort of vicariously through the right. the eyes and ears of those people that we're we're, we're helping mm -hmm. along the way. So that's always a wonderful experience. But um, one of the aspects that I think marks Okinawan karate apart from other martial arts and certainly mm -hmm. gives it a unique flavor is the idea of the philosophy that surrounds it. Yes, and the philosophy has come down from this Okinawan culture and. Mm -hmm. And this class of a warrior class in Okinawa right. that 
was given more than the task of, of dominating society. They were given the task of, let's say, shepherding society, looking right. after mm -hmm. local society and helping everybody to prosper. Yes. Um, and, um, you know, the, 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 and they were called the bushy. Mm -hmm. And this, this concept of boo, uh, you right. know, the martial way, mm -hmm. was something that was written about by you know, many of the prominent teachers. Right. Both the Chinese teachers that, that brought a lot right. of this culture, martial culture to Okinawa, but then the Okinawans who became um, the embodiment of it. Right. Um, behind you on the wall, we have a, a copy of some of the writings of Matsuma that's, Soko, that's right. perhaps the most famous of the bushi mm -hmm. of his time. Yeah. And he talked Matsumura, about, right? yeah, bushi Matsuma. He talked about Bu. So Bu and the idea of a Bujin, someone that embodies the, the, the concept of Bu. Right. Um, I wanted to, to sort of get your, your feeling on that. And I wanted to give a little context that you are a professional warrior. In what you I'm do, a, I'm a United States Marine, and yeah. Yeah, I'm and, an infantryman. Um, so, and so you have, I think, really a, a quite a special perspective on this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, what does the concept of Boo and Bujin mean to you? Yeah. So, I think you're right. I think Okinawa mm -hmm. is a little unique. Sometimes we we, we can use the same words mm -hmm. to describe uh, something, and yet maybe have different meanings mm -hmm. that, that that implies different meanings. Mm -hmm. And I think what's unique to Okinawa is the idea of a bujin. And sometimes I've seen bujin and samurai used almost mm. synonymously. Yeah. And yet I, I think it's um, I think maybe there's a little different context because the yeah. the society from which the idea of a bujin came from in Okinawa is different than the, the Japanese mm. idea of a samurai. Mm. Although in many ways I do think there there are some similarities. Mm. I mean samurai comes from the the word saburao, which means to serve. Right. Um, bujin literally means a martial person, a, a person who is martial. Mm. But the idea of martial uh, here, I think, takes on a little bit of a deeper meaning that as a Marine, as somebody who has uh, certainly experienced, um, you know, real combat where, where literally the uh, the opponents were were trying to take each other's lives. Um, that it kind of resonates with me, and what I mean by that is that one, we're not just proficient at the act of violence, at, at exacting violence on another person. Uh, most of us are born with that in our DNA, and through karate we can refine that. But the idea that boo embodies both uh, mental, emotional, and physical aspects. Mm. Sometimes that's expressed as shin gi tai, yeah. uh, you know, and, and if, our, if our heart or our mind isn't right, then we can never truly be a warrior because we won't have the, um, the appreciation of the awesome responsibility it is mm. to be proficient at violence. Mm. As, a, um, as a leader in combat, Knowing when to when to be violent, when to avoid violence, and then when violence does occur, knowing how to having the the maturity, the understanding, the humility to um, be restrained mm. in exacting that violence. Yeah. But that comes through deep study, mm. not just study of the techniques but study of, of broader things. And so, just like Matsumura sen, the Sensei talked about, Bumbu Gyodo is that it requires of us a study not only of the physical art, the, the um, aspects of exacting violence on another person, but also a deep study of uh, ourselves, um, an understanding of ourselves, our own spirit, uh, an understanding of, of the history of, of the art that we, we, uh, uh, we practice and, and the understanding of philosophy and how people think and act. And, and through that and through the physical aspects, we refine our character so that we don't have to resort to what really in many cases is the easiest solution, which is violence. Mm. But we have the ability to control that and uh, so that we don't resort to violence. Um, and I think karate is unique in that the ideas like karate ni sente nashi, there is no first attack in karate. Or 
a, a martial art where its heroes have been extolled for their ability to avoid conflict. Mm. What martial art does that? That you know, yeah. that the ability to avoid conflict, and yet the incredible cap- capability mm. to be violent, and yet the maturity, the uh, uh, intellect to avoid the violence. That's mm. what bujin to me means, and it means holistic study. Mm. Bumbu yodo. I suppose there's, there's the the, uh, the proverb, which is it's it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war, right? Is that the one that's been? That's right. That's yeah, the one that, that's been. It, there's various different ways I've, of saying it. But yes. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that thrown around, and I mm. think that's that's right. I mean, um, uh, and I wonder if that's as much about a state of mind as an actual, you know, an actual proficiency or an actual vocation, in the sense right. that, that in our lives. Um, martial arts provides a way for us to, um, to to steal our character, to build ourselves, to be ready to be um, a little more resilient. Sure, I agree. And to understand the value of sticking with something, even in the tough times. That's right. And also, particularly for the not just for ourselves, but for those around us as well. Mm-hmm. I think uh, so. I think through putting ourselves physically through very challenging things, mm. it, it causes us, uh, one, to develop uh, spiritually, men- mentally. And I want to say spiritually, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, the strong-mindedness. Mm. I also think that, uh, and, and for me, both through in the dojo, but also on the battlefield, that um, I don't relish combat. I don't relish the fight. Uh, I, I'll say that, Having been on the battlefield, we're pretty good at it. Um, and I've always fought as a team on the battlefield, not as an individual necessarily. But when the time comes for a fight, we can be, we can be pretty effective at, at, at finishing a fight. And that is, a, that is an important thing. But in experiencing that level of violence, that level of um, intensity, that level of risk, uh, I also have... Uh, no desire to be violent. Um, I, I would be happy to live the rest of my life without ever having to mm. go back into a fight, into a battle, whether it's um, uh, against um, against an, an opposing force uh, or against another individual. Um, because I've experienced that. And I think through karate, without experiencing the full range of violence mm. to its ultimate outcome we can at least gain an appreciation for and a degree of maturity mm. and self-confidence yeah. that that we can and humility that we can avoid that that fight yeah that's great